This is Quakelite, a Silverlight port of the id software Quake game, done by Julie Frelet. I probably just messed up the name, but it's French and I'm still learning. Alright, so what you're looking at here is, as I said, a port of the game Quake in Silverlight. It's pretty amazing. Some people, after seeing the first demo video, said, shenanigans! It's not real, but I'm here to tell you, it is. You can see at the top, top left, there's an FPS counter, counting the current FPS. This is running at 640 by 480. I'm on a 800 by 600 resolution, so it looks a little bit larger, so I can capture it better on the camera. And um, as you can see, Julian has done some pretty awesome work here, porting over the Quake engine to C Sharp and uh, the throughput is running pretty well. So currently this is the demo video playing. You can see that if I click on it I get full screen. So get more action bigger bits. This is all um, pixelated. It's all images. So now if I come back out I can bring up the menu and you can see I have different options just like the real game. If I go down here to brightness, I can brighten up the picture. Very old school fun here. Uh, screen size, I can change the size of the rendered screen. There we go, back to normal. And I can back out of this. And up here, single player, new game. Oh, no good. That's only because it's not ready yet. This is just a demo of what Julian has available right now and uh, hoping to see a playable demo very soon. Now, as I mentioned, originally posted, a couple people got on and said, no way, this is crazy. And uh, I just want to pre repeat Julian here. He says, to refute some theories, no image brush is used, no UI element per triangle or surface, there is a perspective texture mapper, and it's not using Kit 3D. It's actually a port of the Quake engine, and it's not WPF. Obviously, it's Silverlight. Let's right click. There you go. And uh, this is not a fake. Thank you. You'll see more soon. Yes.